An unexpected on-track incident can sometimes become a golden opportunity to closely observe hidden details of Formula One cars. This had already happened to Red Bull and Mercedes two years ago, also in Monaco, and now it has happened again with Ferrari's SF25 single-seater, whose floor was revealed as a result of Lewis Hamilton's crash in the final stages of the third free practice session. Just as it was beginning to look like Ferrari had cut the gap down to their rivals, Lewis Hamilton found the wall in the dying minutes of final practice for the Monaco Grand Prix, giving the team plenty to do ahead of qualifying. Setting off on another flying lap to round out the session, the seven-time world champion crashed into the outside wall at Turn 3, also known as Massonet, with the majority of the right-hand side of his Ferrari making contact. The front right tire came off the rim to roll across the track, and he was forced to pull up and wait for his car to be recovered. Images of the car lifted by the crane enabled an intriguing technical analysis of one of the most crucial elements for aerodynamic efficiency, namely the floor. The following analysis is based on a post by Vanja H. on X, an aerospace engineer specialized in R&D of racing cars with over 10 years of experience, who examined the photo published by photojournalist Martin Treckler. These are essentially technical insights based on comparisons with other images of floors leaked in past seasons from Ferrari and other teams such as Red Bull, McLaren, and Mercedes. While many teams, including McLaren, have progressively adopted Red Bull-inspired solutions, the Ferrari engineers and technicians have maintained an original and consistent approach since the 2022 Formula One Championship. The core of Ferrari's technical concept for the floor is the desire to lower the roof of the Venturi tunnels as much as possible in order to generate raw downforce through ground effect. Ground effect is an aerodynamic phenomenon that occurs when a car exploits proximity to the ground to create a low-pressure zone under the floor. This generates significant downforce, allowing the car to grip the track better and greatly improving cornering performance. The principle behind ground effect is the use of Venturi channels under the car. By narrowing the airflow section, airspeed increases and pressure drops, generating strong suction and thus downforce. Keeping the car as close to the ground as possible maximizes this effect increasing available downforce and reducing drag, making the car faster both in corners and on straights. The philosophy adopted by Ferrari since the 2022 Formula One season caused evident bouncing issues on the F175, but the car was soft enough to make the problem manageable for the drivers. Over time, thanks to targeted updates to the suspension and floor, Ferrari nearly eliminated the phenomenon in 2023, though it never managed to find the ideal compromise between ride height, stiffness, and downforce. The critical point was Barcelona 2024. In the attempt to maximize performance, difficulties re-emerged with the aerodynamic update package introduced by the Ferrari engineers and technicians, led at that time by former technical director Enrico Cardile at the Circuit de Catalunya in last year's Spanish Grand Prix, when the team tried to increase downforce from the floor by adding vertical fins in the rear area, the so-called boat section. However, the suspension at the time was not capable of properly managing this additional load. The result? a return of bouncing and the need to raise the ride height. Ferrari corrected its course shortly after, replacing the rear vertical fin with a sidekick configuration introduced at the Hungaroring circuit in Hungary. A further step forward came with the update introduced at the Italian Grand Prix in Monza a few weeks later, where the vertical fins were completely removed from both the boat section and the diffuser keel area, making way for a cleaner and more stable solution now featured on the SF25 single-seater. Now let's also focus on flow management and bouncing prevention. Ferrari's philosophy aims to direct airflow laterally under the floor as speed increases and ride height decreases. This helps prevent the return of aerodynamic bouncing without resorting to extreme suspension solutions. Supporting this approach are also the floor edge wings, but it is the very low throat shape that generates a powerful suction at low height, which, if not well managed, can cause instability. Another distinctive feature of the SF25 car is the final part of the diffuser, which is noticeably more inclined compared to the Red Bull RB21 and the McLaren MCL39. This design makes the area less sensitive to high-speed bouncing, but, more importantly, would allow for better balance of aerodynamic load between the front and rear. In practice, Ferrari could theoretically afford a softer rear end, enhancing traction in slow sections. In the second part of the 2024 Formula One Championship, 
Ferrari also tested an innovative solution in the rear corner, introduced for the first time in the Las Vegas Grand Prix weekend. It is a second chamber on the floor edge that alters vortex formation compared to key rivals. According to various reports in the Italian media, Charles Leclerc found this solution particularly effective in high-speed corners, as demonstrated during the Qatar Grand Prix weekend. The current main limitation for Ferrari is the mechanical rear. Despite the aerodynamic package's effectiveness, the SF25 still suffers from a certain mechanical weakness at the rear. The internal suspension, in fact, does not provide adequate support for the load, nor does it precisely control the ride height. Furthermore, it does not ensure the stiffness needed to keep the tires within the optimal operating window. We published a detailed video on this topic in recent weeks. Ferrari is already working on a mechanical rear-end update that should debut in the upcoming races. If the new system allows for lowering the ride height again, the SF25 car could gain two three-tenths per lap, a crucial margin, especially in terms of qualifying performance, where the Marinello team is still slightly behind Red Bull and McLaren. Despite the fact that the Ferrari SF25 is a revolution compared to the previous car, it still shows technical consistency in a world where everyone is chasing dominant concepts. Despite the challenges, the Marinello team has continued to develop its own vision of ground effect and is now working to strike the right balance between downforce, stability, and tire management. If the rear mechanical updates materialize as promised, the 2025 Formula One season could still hold new and interesting surprises for Ferrari fans. The start of the 2025 Formula One campaign for the prancing horse has certainly not lived up to expectations. Ahead of the championship, Ferrari was seen as a title contender. The arrival of Lewis Hamilton, along with the optimism and hopes sparked by a promising 2024, had led fans to believe that 2025 could be the year of a title comeback. However, Ferrari has emerged from the first seven races of the season significantly downgraded. Now, the team is tasked with unlocking potential through updates, including the long-awaited new suspension. Fourth in the Formula One constructor's standings and trailing leaders McLaren by 177 points ahead of next weekend's Spanish Grand Prix, the Italian side must now roll up its sleeves. Often struggling in slow corners and rarely able to manage tires effectively, especially in qualifying, the SF25 will soon be equipped with a new rear suspension. After passing engineering reviews, the Marinello team's engineers and technicians have reportedly approved the new suspension, which will be ready to hit the track this summer. June will most likely mark a crucial turning point in the season, one that could determine the fate of the prancing horse for at least the second half of the 2025 Formula One Championship.